Hello and welcome to the Center for Distance Learning Online Student Orientation Part 2 Navigating Your Course. To begin navigating your course you want to open up your browser on your computer. You then want to type in ccc.blackboard.com. Once you do so you will come to this page that you see on the screen. You want to then put in your CCC username and password. Once you log in, you will see the screen that you see in front of you. There's a lot of information that's on the screen, but the really important information is either your course list or my courses. This is going to list all of the courses that you are currently enrolled in. You may see courses from your face-to-face -face course because face-to-face -face courses also use Blackboard. But for this example, we're only looking for our online courses. Usually, as an example, they will look similar to this you will see CDL dash your course so let's say Spanish dash 102 and either TW or WW will be in the title that's how you'll know the difference between the courses so for this example we're going to scroll down to the student orientation course under the student orientation course or in your course you will see the Center for Distance Learning logo as well as a blue menu on the left side. The first page you will always come to will be the announcement page. To navigate your course you just want to look at the buttons on the left side and just click on each button. So under instructor information you should expect to see your instructors contact information usually with an email address and a phone number usually with other pertinent information such as office hours or office location. You also find the CDL technical help desk information as well. If you have technical support that you need, you would use this information here. Under syllabus, you may find a lot of different information on the syllabus, but the three standard items that you will find will be the syllabus, the syllabus addendum, and the syllabus sign off. Under the syllabus, this is the most important information in your course you want to make sure you download that and have a copy of that on your local computer. The syllabus addendum is also important information but not something you necessarily have to download. Make sure you read it, you review it, and you know the information that's in it. You also see the syllabus sign-off. The syllabus sign-off is a one-question survey that said that you have read the syllabus, that you have read the syllabus addendum, you understand everything that is asked of you, and you type in your name and you click the submit button to say you have read both. Under course resources, this is where you're going to find many resources in your course and depending on how your course is set up it could be different things such as tutorials or computer user policy or any other files that you may need for your course. Under assignments, under assignments is where you're going to find out what you need to do on a weekly basis. Your assignments could be measured in units, they could be measured in weeks, they could be measured in modules. Some students such as math, French, Spanish, and Econ will have your assignments linked to an outside website. So please check with your instructor to make sure you know where to go to find your assignments. Otherwise, you will find your assignments listed similar to this in folders or units or so forth. Some of the type of assignments that you will see in your Blackboard course will be down here at the bottom. So an example of assignment to submit an assignment you will see something as simple as this icon with a pencil and a ruler and if you click on that that will be a link that will take you to another page where you will either write your submission by clicking on this button here or you will click on browse my computer to attach a file that you may have made in Word or Excel or Access or something of that nature and attach it and then click the submit button. Another type of file you may see is a turn it in file. It looks a little bit, the icon looks a little bit different than the previous one and it's usually blue, white and red. This one will actually have a view complete link below it. Turn it in is a plagiarism software at when you upload your document by clicking on the view complete it will take you to a website 
it will ask you to upload your file. You always need to name your file and put in your personal information as well as click on this button here that says choose this computer to find the file. Once you find your file it will be uploaded to turn it in and it will check for plagiarism. It will see whether you have ever used a document before and it will give the instructor and you some information on whether or not your file is plagiarized. Going back to the main menu under exams and quizzes, this is where you should find all your exam and quiz information including your proctored exam. If you do not find your exam and quiz information under exams and quizzes, look under assignments and look in the folders that I previously showed you. You may find quiz information is there as well. Discussion board. Discussion board is an interactive tool where you interact with your instructor as well as other students and this is where you are going to participate usually on a weekly basis. To use the discussion board you will click on the discussion board link and you will usually see your weekly discussion boards available to you. You will click on the name of that discussion so for here this is called introduction you will click on it. Once you do so if students have participated you will see a list of students here on this next screen. If students have not participated then it will be blank and then you will need to create your thread. To create your thread you will see a button up here at the top that says create thread. This is you putting your information onto the discussion board. You'll click the button here and once you click the button you'll put in a subject so we'll say introduction and you put in your information here and click the submit button. Once you have submitted your information is now in the discussion board area. Now your instructor may also ask you to respond to two other students. To respond to two other students all you have to do is while you're in this list you look for two other students to respond to. So you will look for the thread from another student and you will click on their thread. By clicking on their thread you will see what they have written and to respond to them there will be a reply button. You click on reply and now you're able to reply to the other student and click the submit. and then you go down to click the OK button to go back to the list. And once you're back in the list you just reply to another student or you can click on the OK button to go back to the main area of the discussion board that has a list of all your discussions. And that's how you use the discussion board area. The next button you will see is the course tools. Under course tools you will find many tools that you may or may not use for your course. Some of the common tools that you will use in your course is Blackboard Collaborate, Course Messages, this is another link to the discussion board, you may use Glossary, you may be in a group setting and this is what you will click for groups, as well as sending an email to your instructor from Blackboard you would use this, and possibly Voiceboard. If there are any tools that you may be in your course that may not be in this list, talk to your instructor about how to use those tools. Under the button My Grades, this is where you're going to find your grades. Currently I'm not a student in this course so I can't see any grades, but this is where you'll find your grades to see how you are doing in your course. This button here that says Grades First Grades First is an early warning system to you and your advisor and it's link on your computer to make sure that your advisor and your instructor knows your participation in your course. It's also a link for you to find help if you need help. So click on that link uh, as far as help with uh, advisors or help with tutoring you can click on this link 
for tutoring on your campus if you click on that you'll be able to find out how to sign up for that and the last but not least button is your student support and services button this is a very important button because this button will get you information to just about anything that you can ask a question about the first area is information on the CDL student orientations or frequently asked questions and it's just a quick link for you to get that information again the CDL help desk information is under student support and services as well as another direct link to tutoring either online or on your personal campus there's academic advising student webinars more information about grades first information about the student policy information on getting help at the libraries disability access and the wellness center so this has been an overview on how to navigate your course if you have any further questions please contact the center for distance learning or stop into our office and we'll be glad to help you thank you